In this video, I'm going to talk about AVL trees. AVL trees are a special type of BSDs. Um, first of all, let's talk about uh, BSDs a little bit and see when they fail so bad to perform well. Let's say we have 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yeah. So this 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 uh, BSD is completely valid because everything to the left of this 10 is just uh, less than 10 and everything to the right of 10 is greater than 10 but we don't have uh, any right now. Uh, if we want to find 1, we have to go through all of these elements so finding 1 is going to be off n. If we want to remove 1, we're going to go again uh, over over an element till we find 1. If we want to add 0, we have to go over an element. So everything here is going to be just off n. So that's not really time efficient uh, for, for a BSD. But the, the, the solution is to use AVL trees. AVL trees are BSDs that uh, balance themselves whenever an imbalance happens. We talked about balancing, so uh, we should have some st some strategy to balance our tree. Um, we have four strategies for balancing our trees: a left rotation, a right rotation, a right left rotation, and a left right rotation. So these are the rotations that are going to keep our that is that, is, that are going to keep our uh, tree balanced. Um, for these rotations, we need to keep track of two things. We need to keep track of balance factor and height. Balance factor and height are defined as here. So balance factor is the uh, the left height minus right height. Uh, height of a null node is going to be defined to be negative 1 and then height of anything else is going to be the maximum between left and right height plus 1. Here uh, I also put the rotation table. This rotation table is the most important thing that we're going to uh, I'm going to show you in um, AVL3 subject. So it's it's a really good idea to take a look at this 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 table and just try to uh, write it down for yourself for later references. Uh, in this particle of video, I'm not going to uh, show you how to work with this rotation table, but in the next video when we're going to do a little bit of uh, examples about uh, avial trees, I'm going to uh, use this, this table a lot. Now back to our uh, example. Let's do a left rotation uh, to see how it, how it works. Let's say we have 10 here, we have uh, 20 here, and we have 30 here. This is not balanced. We can see that here we have nothing here. We have two nodes to, to the right of this, this 10. So it's not balanced at all. What we'll do is to do a left rotation. Left rotation means pick this, this guy up, pick this 20 up, and then bring it up here. Okay, So 20 is going to be now on the top, and then to the left it's going to be 10 to the right it's going to be 30. Okay. Now this tree has been balanced because to the left you have uh, just one node, uh, just one node, to the right you have another another node. So this is completely balanced. And how we did this was a left rotation. Okay? So this is this is a left rotation. If we had some children for 10, let's say it's subtree A, uh, for 20, let's say subtree B. Uh, for 30, let's say subtree C, and the right uh, subtree D as children, uh, as a child. Then in the rotation, we're gonna um, keep track of those those children as well. Uh, let's talk about 30. 30 hasn't changed any uh, hasn't changed any of its children. So 30 is gonna uh, just have D and C. So nothing special happened to to 30. But in the case of 20 and 10, uh, 10 had 20 as its right child and it doesn't have it uh, after the rotation. So something has happened to this guy and then 20 uh, had B as its left child 
but now 20 has 10 as its left child so something also apparently happened to this okay now in the new uh, in the new tree after the rotation uh, we're gonna say okay we had the subtree B and we already know that anything in this subtree is going to be bigger than 10 because anyways this the subtree B was to the right of 10 so um, if we want to give the subtree to 10 it's going to go to the right of 10 and then um, 10 is going to also carry the left subtree A and it's going to be on the left uh, it's going to be on the left side so 10 is going to have A here and everything is balanced all of the children uh, are present a b c d and uh, the, the tree is completely balanced so that is that's the left rotation for the right rotation we're gonna um, we're gonna do exactly the same thing but the uh, the direction of rotation is going to be um, the only difference so here let's say we have uh, 10 5 and 1 and we want to perform a right rotation so first of all this is not balanced because the right of, right of 10 we don't have anything to the left of 10 we have two nodes so we have to do a rotation and that rotation is going to be a right rotation because we uh, we're going to uh, we're going to pick this 5 and move it to the right and up so it's going to be a right rotation and we're going to uh, end up with something like this Now, um, if we had some children for each of these nodes, let's say A, B, C, and D, let's see what happens um, to, to the children. So 1 didn't change any of its children. Apparently, one, uh, actual 1 didn't change at all. So C and D are going to be here. Then 10 didn't change its its right children right so the right children uh, the right child of 10 is gonna again be a but um, if you look at 5 5 now has the right child to be 10 but here it was the sub tree B so something has happened to this guy and then 10 uh, 10's left child was was 5 but it's not uh, it's not anymore so also something happened to this guy okay um, how can we how can we put this uh, subtree B back into our tree without changing uh, any of these right and left ro left uh, r left rules? Uh, well, we say that this subtree B has everything in it uh, needs to th everything in subtree B needs to be less than ten because anyways uh, everything this the subtree B was to the left of ten. So if we want to attach it to this tree again B is gonna go to the left of 10 and as you see everything is balanced again and all of the uh, all of the children are present now let's do the last two rotations let's say we have 20 and then we have 10 and then we have 15 this is not balanced again because to the right of t 20 we don't have anything to the left of 20 we have 10 and 15 so we need to do uh, some sort of rotation to fix this uh, the situation what we will do is to do a left rotation and then we're gonna do a right rotation so what we mean by that is let's say in this case we're gonna pick this 15 I'll uh, put it here so it's going to be 20 and then 15 and then uh, where can I put this 10 well the only place that I can put it is to the left of 15 because 10 is less than 15 okay after we have this situation we're gonna say uh, this looks exactly like a uh, right rotation so we're gonna pick this 15 and um, move it to the right right and top so 15 is going to be at the top and then 20 is going to be to the uh, to the right, and then 10 is going to be to the left, and everything is uh, completely balanced, and um, everything goes well. In the case of having children, uh, we're going to keep track of each children and see where each one goes. So, A, B, C, and D. Uh, 
So when we're doing this this rotation, uh, the left child of b, the left child of ten, did then change. So b is gonna be here. Then uh, the right child of fifteen did then change. So uh, d is gonna be here now. And then the right child of twenty didn't change at all. So a is gonna be here. Uh, but what happens? What happens to this guy here? Well, we will say that uh, left of 15 has has changed to node 10, so left of 15 needs to needs to change, and we know that the subtree uh, C has everything in it uh, greater than 10. Okay, so the right child of 10 now is going to be the subtree C, and after this rotation. Uh, 10 is not gonna change uh, any of its children so B and C are gonna uh, are gonna be here and then 20 is not gonna change its right child so 20 is gonna be here and then left child of 20 is gonna be the right child of 15 so D is gonna go here and the tree is completely balanced so this is a left right rotation okay so left right because first we do a left rotation then we do a right rotation for right left rotation it's again the same situation but in different um, in different direction so let's say we have 10 here we have uh, 20 here and we have 15 here Okay, yeah. uh, so first we're gonna do a right, then the resulting is gonna go through a left rotation. So that's why we call it right left rotation. So this is a right left rotation. So what we do with this right left rotation is gonna be uh, changing this 15 this position to be here so it's going to be 10 then 15 then 20 is going to be the right child of 15 and then after here we're going to do a left rotation so 15 is going to go up here uh, 10 is going to go down here and then 20 is going to go down here and if you have the uh, have the have those children have the subtree children it's pretty easy to um, keep track of all of those those subtree children and see where each one each one goes. So let's say uh, that we have A B C D as subtrees. And then here on uh, the left child of ten has not been changed, so A is gonna remain the same. Then 15's uh, left child has not changed, so it's going to be C. And the right child of um, 20 has not changed, so it's going to be B. Then uh, the left child of the right child of 15. Now uh, we know that the the right child of 15 is everything uh, smaller than 20 because it's it's uh, on the uh, left subtree of 20, so. D is gonna come over here, and then after we do a uh, video our left rotation, twenty is gonna have the same children, so B and D are gonna stay here, and then fifteen's uh, uh, left child is gonna go to tens. 10's right child and then left child of 10 is going to just stay the same as A and here we haven't gotten rid of any of these children and the the, the tree is completely balanced so we are done with our right left rotation so this is the basic of um, avial trees we're gonna do more of examples and uh, understanding of that rotation table in the next video. So 